And they can really wedge themselves in. Oh. Holy smokes. She is really in there. I feel like this is like the beginning of a Godzilla movie. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here, hanging out in the far reaches of the camp. And uh, we're over by the large pond. And we rarely come over here, but I like to walk around and, because sometimes I find things. And um, I'm wondering what's going on here with this turtle. This looks to be a large, like a large snapping turtle, and I want to dig it up and see what's going on. Uh, she's been here for a little while, and I want to see if she's okay. Now, sometimes these snappers will bury themselves in the mud, but we got to see what's going on with her, because she looks like she's been in here for quite some time. Oh my gosh, she's really in there, so I hope she's okay. Oh my gosh, guys, they, they'll do this sometimes if it gets too hot, which it had been here in the summer, but now the temps have cooled off a little. So now is it going to be too cool for her? I don't know, but for whatever reason, she's really got herself wedged in here. Oh my gosh, guys, this is incredible. Now, obviously I don't want to dig right there because that is going to be her face. You can see the serrated edges here. So it's incredible. They'll do this from time to time to relax. Oh my gosh, this is our big girl that was living in the recreation pond for a while, and maybe we'll bring her back. Just let her swim around in there. The reason I put her in here, actually, was because Kate, while I was gone, found her walking around. Oh, she's definitely, she's definitely okay. She's just wedged in there real good. My goodness, how cool is this? <clears throat> so there's a lot of different reasons why uh, turtles will kind of estivate and do this. Look at this, she's just put, put herself down. Let's see if there's, an injury or something we want to make sure she's okay uh, but there are definitely a lot of reasons why they'll do this it's to escape heat it's to escape cold because in the ground it's a constant temperature look at her go come on little lady she's not that little look at this big girl moving come on come on come on you gotta get out let's go see what's going on out there oh yeah come on let's see what kind of mood she's gonna be in when I get her out of here look at this look at this oh she's angry Oh, there's where her head was. Look at that. Come on. Oh, yeah. She's not happy at all. Look at her. She's biting the fence. And they can really wedge themselves in. Oh, come on, one. Oh, come on, one. Holy smokes. She is really in there. How cool. Oh, look at that giant tail. I feel like this is like the beginning of a Godzilla movie where they've been digging some construction site and they've come across this big prehistoric beast. I love it. Oh God, she's still fat and happy. Look at her chunky. Look at her chunk. And she's um, she's emitting a musk right now. She smells bad. So she is uh, worried that she's getting eaten or something. Look at this. I gotta be real careful right there. Look at that. There she is, she's looking at me. Look at her looking at me. Let's see. Just get this mud and look at her beautiful face. Look at her. Look at that pretty eyes she's got right there. Hey, you, oh my gosh, you're getting a stick. Good thing I used a stick. Oh, she's, this right here is wedged. Gotta dig a little bit. Of, you hear that, guys? This is our girl. We haven't seen her in a couple of months oh, because. Again, she was crawling around where she was, um, wasn't supposed to be. So Kate put her in the big pond just to make sure she was contained. Holy smokes. I'm gonna put you guys down. I need both hands here. Let's do it. I need both hands to get this big large lady out. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes! Look how deep she was. My goodness. She was so deep in there. Wow. How awesome. I love snapping turtles, man. And you guys have met Marge recently. But uh, this is the big girl that came to me from a nice family. Look at her. Look, Soph. We found a big turtle. She was dug down. It's our big snapping turtle. Margie? No, name? Marge is in the other thing. I, we, I forgot what I named her. If anyone remembers what her name was, let me know in the comments below, because I forget. She's just a big, happy girl. Uh, unreal, man. 
but uh, let's see. I just want to check her out, make sure she's okay. Looks like her jaw is okay. Come here. She's gonna do the, the gator, the, the snapping turtle snap. But I think we should put her uh, back in the rec pond for a little while. Just see her swimming around, man. Okay. Yeah, why not? I'm home. What do you mean, no? You go swimming in there? She doesn't hurt you when you go swimming. My goodness, look at that. That's awesome, man. Okay, so she's a bit heavy. I'm gonna need two hands. So, Soph, you're gonna hold the camera and point it, just keep it at us. Here we go, follow me over there. Oh my God, watch this. Oh, she's just, these are just warning bites. Just a little warning bite. See that? All right, let's see. You always grab a snapping turtle from the back of her carapace. Keep looking. And from the back of her carapace, and you hold them like, like this. Like a, a carapace is a shell? That's right, it's the top part of the shell. And the bottom part's called the plastron. Come on, let's go. I want to get her nice and clean and happy. Watch a step here, and I'll try not to get my nose bit off. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that? Holy smokes, she almost got me. Ooh, Holy smokes. She's Thanks got so these claws. Like oh my gosh, she's definitely become a wild turtle living out in this pond. You think she's seen um, the alligator snappers? Uh, she's probably seen them, yeah. She's a big girl herself, so. Ooh. I'll tell you, she's quite heavy. Holy smokes. Probably ate a lot of fish. She probably did. She's still got a lot of weight on her. Watch her step through here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put her over here. Oh, holy smokes, guys. I needed a break. <sighs> Let's go ahead and put her in the wetland. Okay? I got it. Oh, I think she's trying to bite you. We'll put her in the wetland right here. I trimmed down some of the plants yesterday. So we'll put her in here and see if she'll find a way into the big portion of the pond. Okay, so keep it right on the action. Here we go. Ooh. Whoa, she's angry. Uh, she was happy in her mud bath, but she was having a beauty sleep, I guess. You know how ladies like to put mud masks on. Mm -hmm. oh. Here we go. Oh. All right. Awesome. You can barely see her because of all the mud, but it'll start to flow away. There she goes. There's her pretty face. Hi. I was just carrying you to a nice wet area. So we had a lot of rain last week during the hurricane and it probably prompted her to move and look for another place to live. But um, she didn't find it and when the water receded she probably dug into the mud just to kind of cool herself down because it was pretty warm. Now of course hurricane's gone. There's been no issues here at our camp and so why don't we just put her in here and see what she does. It's always fun to hang out with these animals and just see their behavior. It's so awesome and it's really cool that we have these options where they can kind of come stay in this pond for a little while. I can, I can observe them and make sure they're healthy and then we can put her back in the big pond as well. So very, very cool. She was happy in here. The problem was she started wandering around and I just didn't want her to get lost in the yard so Kate actually came across her walking through the driveway and Kate had to wrangle her all by herself, which is not something Kate is comfortable doing. She is uh, definitely not a turtle wrangler, but she did a good job and she was able to get the animal and put her in the big pond. So I have not seen her since then and uh, it's awesome to see her again because I love snapping turtles. You guys have met Marge, she's super cool. Well, this big girl is what Marge will turn into. And I gotta tell you, that turtle's gotta be close to 25 pounds. I mean, she's big and she's still gonna keep growing. She's got a long way to go. Whew, awesome. Let's see where she goes now. Do you think that she's gonna stay here or she's gonna go back over there? Oh no, she'll probably wander around. She'll want deeper water and more places to hide, but this is a good habitat for her. Uh, snapping turtles love to kind of hide their ambush predators. Uh, they're also active at night where they'll probe along the shoreline of the pond or oxbow or slough, wherever they might be living in the swamp. And they look for food and they just quickly shoot that head right out and snap up something uh, that might get in their way. Crayfish, fish, worms, smaller turtles, 
they are happy to eat just about anything they can catch snakes everything there's actually video online uh on youtube actually of snapping turtle eating a water snake uh you might want to check that out and search for it but it's really awesome uh to see these guys and their behavior in their aquatic environment they're such good aquatic monsters in fact their name uh chelidra serpentina uh it, it basically means snake like swamp thing that's because of that long neck they have uh and i would agree they are definitely the swamp thing don't you guys think they are a superhero unto themselves man so awesome to see such a big beautiful turtle here at the camp and now she's just checking out this new area where she's found herself in and she's following the water flow so let's see what happens maybe she'll get into this deeper area and that would be so cool to watch her swimming around in there um, love her these were some of the first turtles i kept as a kid i would find the babies and i'd raise them up for the summer and then let them go at the end of the summer and um, years ago when i was living at woodward camp i found a mama turtle crossing the road she laid eggs I incubated the eggs and I kept one of the babies. His name was Clyde and he lived here for many, many years. So uh, they can live a long time. I think they're just a fantastic turtle. And believe it or not, they do make good pets. They get large though, so you gotta have a big area for them and they will calm down. There have been videos of very, very tame, I say tame, uh, turtles, snapping turtles. They don't bite their owners, they eat out of their hands. And if you look at Margie over there on Cayman Creek, she's definitely what I would consider on her way to being a really cool pet turtle. She follows me around, she just wants me to feed her. It's the best. I just love it, man. It's so cool um, to have these snake-like swamp things here at the camp because they are the most primitive, in my opinion, of the turtles. Them and the alligator snappers. So awesome. But look at her. She's just relaxing, just enjoying her life and checking out this part of the pond. She's like, wait a second, where am I? There's fish in here, there's algae, and there's clean water. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. We're going to keep an eye on her and let her do her thing in this beautiful aquascape ecosystem we're actually in the wetland filter and this is the whole reason why this pond over here is so clear let's have a look i'll show you uh like i said i did some work i cleaned up some of the plants and if you look you can really see all the way to the bottom of this pond it's just a gorgeous gorgeous uh, water feature and huge and there's plenty of places for this snapping turtle to hang out and there's plenty of fish and other uh, animals for this critter to eat which is important you want to have a nice habitat for these animals that's uh, always been my biggest joy is providing them with a cool spot to hang out and live so here she goes look at her go oh man now these guys will burrow into the into the mud or into the algae and they kind of are ambush predators as well where they'll hide and if something swims by them that they feel like eating they just shoot that head out and they get it so awesome find i'm really excited to get this turtle out see her again and uh my goodness guys there you have it some fun times with the big snapping turtle we got to come up with a name or if you guys remember her name please let me know i forgot i'm terrible with names anyway uh that's what we got going on right now and i'll leave i'm gonna leave you guys thanks for watching uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe and keep an eye out for more fun videos with reptiles on this channel i'll talk to you guys again real soon see ya